offense, Isaac Haas, Matt Harms, and now they have Zach Eady. And Zach Eady's 7'4", a freshman, and he is just lighting teams up down the stretch, playing great. Yeah, he had 20 anyway. last time out, if I'm not mistaken. That's a team that nobody talks about inside the Big Ten. They won 13 games. Yeah. Won 13 games. Top four Illinois seed won in the that league. Getting yeah. through that we have out on the floor. Now let him play. Continue to talk to him. Continue to work with him. Harward was down low with position. He's got space to operate. There he goes. Well, he missed it. Averitt, he'll try again. That time, not quite in rhythm. You could sort of see that right when he released it. Marcello jumped it down to Johnson. Two point jumper. Rebound, Edwards. So Pepperdine survived a real cold snap. They're still up by seven, under four minutes to go. First half. Averitt picked up his dribble. Matt Harms back in the game. Loner Edwards hit the floor, and that is an offensive foul. Charge, which it has already tonight a couple of times. You have to make the adjustment as the offensive player. The officials aren't going to adjust in their call. Hopefully, we just want them to be consistent. Up here. Trying to get the ball to Harms. Maybe they'll try again. Marcelo lob. Harms traveled. Turnover. Boy, Pepperdine had another great opportunity to get even closer, but Victor Ohia Obioha, for the second time this half, missed a chippy right at the rim. Boy, a really good job by Colby Ross to take away that little pitchback action that Suggs and Kisper were running, where Kisper just runs behind Suggs to get a quick three. Ross really knows what he's doing out there in every respect, doesn't he? Tonight, going on the road in this game, just an exhibition to them and will not count on their record. They were 20-12 and 12 last year. They finished fourth in the Pac West at 14-8. and eight. Waves were 16-16 and 16 last season, 8-8 eight and eight in conference, and they finished in sixth. West Coast Conference Tournament is played in Las Vegas this year, March 4th through the 9th. Blocked there by... You know, what a first half for the Gonzaga Bulldogs. They're almost on pace for 100. They're shooting 61% on the road. With one of their stars. And he's watching right now. Like, that, that gets me excited as a Giants fan. I'm excited. I, I got to perform at a higher level. I got to be Buster Posey in this broadcast. It, it should. I wonder who he's rooting for. He's rooting for a good game. That's what he's rooting for. He's rooting for any continuity on the season. In the first possession, Gonzaga goes man-to-man. -man. They double the post. They are switching just about everything. No way. And it happened. Kessler Edwards, a 42% three-point shooter on the season, knocks down a three. Fourth assist to the game for Ross. And Pepperdine back with an eight. Now they come. That is shot partially blocked by Watson. Gonzaga down just one. Zags are on the run. Nemhard tried to leave it for... Watson and went off his shin. Ross pull up three in transition. Too strong. Kessler Edwards, 28 points in the game, and he's just two away from his career best. Left side of shot attempt by Moore, no good. Christ Noel grabs it. Down the lane, it comes into Hampshire, who fumbles it, and ball goes out. Baseline inbound for San Diego State. Aztecs. Among the best defensive teams in America coming in, allowing just 52 points per game. A rope exploding. Dishing it for has made him such a great player for four years. Good play by Kessler Edwards to jump the passing lane and now off and running. Edwards lays it in with a foul. What a start for Pepperdine in this game. You knock down the Jody Smith three-pointer and then defensively. You, you have to jump and meet the pass. Caleb Lohner did not jump towards the pass. You allow the steal, and then 
If you're going to foul, you have to foul. Earlier this season, not that long ago. Maybe the fourth option on this Gonzaga team, but one of the better players in college basketball. That was a good pass. The three is in and out. We'll go with the lane and the way is up four to three. According to the local newspapers, Pepperdine came into this game as a three-point favorite. Way staying their man to man. Jenkins averages 15 a game, leading the Tigers, an explosive sophomore guard. He was on the all freshman team last year. And the Tigers like to slow things down. Bailey along the baseline, driving, puts it up a lot of times. Self in this game, whether it's through the pass, opening up shots for his teammates, or aggressively scoring. And I think if you're BYU, you want to keep being physical and attack the paint. Caleb Lohner back on the floor. Two fouls missed the final put basketball. Now you and I were there for the upset against Gonzaga last year. It's the last game Gonzaga lost was to BYU. There's 5,000 students two hours before the game locked in and ready to go. I, I've never seen anything like it, really. Great. Buddy Smith is like a whole different player from the guy we saw yep. earlier this season. And he's got 11, or excuse me, 13 and 6 right now. He's been huge. Runner down low, dribbled it out of bounds. Pepperdine has scored the last six. Gomez has entered. Gomez just two points in this game. Shackle looking for help, has Seiko. Josh Tomayich is in as well. Mitchell circling. Mitchell trying to cross over on Edwards. Mitchell had it stat short. Aztecs had it to within three, it's now five. Now Mitchell exploding on Edwards, has his shot blocked. The BYU does feel like they're settling into this game a little bit now. Averett baseline, found George, passed up the three. And then Kessler Edwards is there to block the shot. Here comes, should be. It is his first assist. Harms had it blocked by Kessler Edwards. What a play. Here's Smith again. And a blocking foul. Yeah, Lee, 6'8". And Concordia with great size. This is Henry with eight on the shot clock. Henry driving in the air. Shot rejected. And it is way short for John D. Smith. He's been shooting the ball pretty well here lately. Joel, yeah, you had the first triple-double in Gonzaga history. They needed that bad. They do need it bad. Now, he had seven points in nine minutes in the first meeting, so maybe he's a player that feels like he could have some confidence. It's no good. Took a little drop back for Kispert. Minutes as the season has gone on, and the lead for Pepperdine is down to three. It could be shrinking even more. Gideon George in transition. No! Barcelo had his shot blocked. Uh, can we say future Hall of Famer without any hesitation? Zero hesitation. Yeah. I mean, as soon as as soon as they have another vote, I can't imagine that that he's not getting in. The first... Tan, no good. Pepperdine rebound. Kessler Edwards spins and scores. See, I, I think keep playing. Well, along with San Francisco, Santa Clara and St. Mary's. Ball thrown away by Jenkins. A turnover by Pacific. Waves at the other end. Kessler Edwards. And uh, Pierre Cockrell he is averaging six points a game. Waves quickly down the floor. Shot clock about 13 seconds ahead of the game clock. And there's a shot off the mark. Team that won 23 and 10. Of course, they had a great player in Jalil Tripp, who was a two time all conference forward. 6'6. Six, six. And a three pointer by Kessler Edwards is down for Pepperdine. So the Aztecs for a moment had it to 10. Edwards again, why not? Hold. Zedek. Extra passing. Edwards. Three. Beautiful offense from Pepperdine. They, they got BYU chase.
Nothing really going San Diego State's way in this first half. They trail by 11. Pepperdine on the road. Looking for what would be a huge non-conference win for the Waves before they begin WCC play. Edwards working inside. Has wasn't scoring, wasn't even shooting. He has been a much more aggressive player since then. Edwards against the shot blocker Harms. That was a pretty sweet move. Three minutes to go. Kessler Edwards back to Ross. Gets it back. Edwards, tough turnaround. Jumper is good. Man, how smooth is he? The history goes back a long ways. We mentioned since 1947, Ohia Obioa shot partially blocked, picked up by Edwards who throws it up and in. Scotty Smith, man, he is feeling confident lately as a shooter. Not that time. Ball goes out of bounds, though, off of Loner. So Pepper. Pepperdine is one of the best free throw shooting teams in the country. BYU. It, it depends on who's shooting the free throws. Ross, three, not this time. Tip-up is good, though. I think Kessler Edwards will get credit for that one. We'll see. Oh, if he gets doubled, he can find an open teammate. And he was a guy had a terrific freshman season. But it, it feels, Shay, like, it, like a lot of people saw this big step forward to where he would become one of the, the best big men of the country in his sophomore year, right? Well, he's playing essentially... They left the lead to go to the Big West Conference as Kessler Edwards shot at 10, hits the rim, but the Waves get the rebound. It's Jody Smith right side. Victor Ohia Obihoa as is on the bench right now as Kessler Edwards up top knocks quicker and firing more threes than they would like. They had 22 turnovers, still one against LMU last Saturday, and they have 12 here in the first half, so they've struggled a bit. Long shot attempt. Shad, the injured player, turned an ankle on that layup by Kobe Ross. You imagine the Waves have led by as many as 29, and Ross just got his first two points of the game. He's the second leading scorer on the squad at 17 a night. Edwards up top, knocks down another. They're up by 8, 46, 38. Allman inside to Zedek. His shot blocked from behind by Stoddard, but the Waves get the ball again. This is Kessler Edwards out to Daryl Polk. Left side to Kessler, lays it up and in. Challenge the top-ranked Bulldogs, and Pepperdine will have the ball first tonight with their great senior point guard, Sean, just talked about him, Colby Ross, with the ball in his hands. And a quick release three, left side. That is a beautiful beginning. Kessler Edwards knocks down the first shot for Pepperdine. He took advantage of the break. Uh, Pepperdine's going to hold for the final look of this first half. Ross's brilliant start to this game feels like a long time ago. Edwards pull up jumper is good. There is time on the clock. Gonzaga actually gets a decent look. He's second in the nation among active career three pointers at 300, but he's got that ability off the bounce as well. Under five to play in the first half. Five point Pepperdine lead. Edwards catch and shoot. On the perimeter, the newcomer Majuk. Dang. Edwards again. Well, afterwards, the lead down to 10. San Diego State creating some energy despite the fact that there are no fans in this great building. Viejas Arena, one of the best buildings on the West Coast for college hoops. Edwards again. His uh, Michigan rather had a 36 to three run against the Badgers. Yeah, I mean, you hear about a run like that in, in a, a game against another opponent. You might say, okay, well, I could see that happening. I mean, it's still extraordinary. Against Wisconsin? I mean, what would the odds of that have been going into the game if somebody had said, hey, you know. Back from Chukwuka, who had the dunk in transition. Now gets a touchdown low against Kispert. Kessler Edwards, little floater is good. Such a Dave, I think you, I think, well, I don't know what you had for breakfast, but you're really dialed in. Yeah, I agree. It was, his follow-up, I thought, was interesting, too. It's like, we don't need him to steal the ball. We just want him to make it tough on the opposing point guard. 
Edwards shot clock winding down. He got rid of it and hits the shot. Uh, I thought from Murrieta, California, second time in a week, Jay, that we have said Murrieta on the air in one of our games. Yeah, Evan Mobley and Isaiah Mobley from yeah. USC both. Rebound for Colby Ross on the Naismith Award preseason watch list. He's averaging 24 points per game. He's Pepperdine's all-time leading scorer and assist man. And he scored 33 against UCLA in a loss here at Viejas just over a week ago. Triple overtime loss. Here's Kessler Edwards. He'll pull up from 18 and drain. Well, the transfer from Lilna Marymount, where he played for two seasons uh, before transferring to Pacific, a graduate senior. And uh, it is 3 nothing Tigers. It goes inside to Kessler Edwards, who lays it up and down the floor. Tigers get back in transition. Edwards left side. His three-point attempt doesn't go. Rebound by Oya Obioa to Edwards who slams it in. Great ball movement today. Altman dribbling. Gets inside of Chukwuka who missed the lane. Ball tipped out to Ross. He gets it to Edwards who puts it up and in. It's going to count. Into the lead a little bit. By the way, in case you're really paying attention to the details while we were at the break, and if you're watching late night college hoops, I know you are. But they added a point for Pepperdine. Kessler Edwards, they had scored it originally as a two, but his jumper was a three. Edwards underneath, off the glass, got good position against Harms. As 13, uh, top Concordia. 73-54 waves. Kessler Edwards driving and throws it off the glass and able to score.